Hey, it's Rob Kittle at Kittle Real Estate. Just want to touch base with you about some of the questions I've been getting here lately about the housing market. Uh, is there a risk in buying a home right now? Is the market going to uh, crash? Is it going to go down? Um, based on the statistics and the supply and demand ratios that I've been seeing, uh, the answer is absolutely not. I mean, the, the market is still uh, hot even here in the fall. Uh, and it continues to uh, to boom. So it's kind of interesting. We're looking at uh, uh, this little website, and it had something called the riskometer as to whether or not there's a risk of buying a home here in Fort Collins or the Northern Colorado market. And uh, so we put in a bunch of different addresses, and it was basically predicting based on the supply and demand uh, and what's been going on with the market here and the affordability as to the, you know, the, what your home would be worth or what that property would be worth uh, in a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. So we're going to go ahead and include that link. Uh, that's kind of the, the point of this uh, this video message to you is to give you that information so you could put your address into it or maybe even the home that you're thinking of buying. Uh, go ahead and put the address of the home that you're interested in and see what this, uh, this little uh, software predicts that the value of the, your home will be in a couple years from now. Um, we put other properties from other states into this little risk meter and it definitely did not get the return uh, that uh, properties here in Northern Colorado were producing. So um, anyways, I want to provide this little tool to you so you, uh, for you to be able to use and, and uh, have a little peace of mind as to what's going on in the Northern Colorado market. You know, don't take my word for it. Look at this software. Um, obviously, we could always put together a custom analysis for you as to looking at the supply and demand of the particular market that you're thinking about buying in. And that will also help to uh, have some peace of mind as to um, what to, to do and whether or not to buy now or to wait. Um, that's another, my next point, I guess, is to uh, talk about the market in general and the seasonality of the market. Uh, definitely, if you are thinking about buying a home, uh, we're telling everyone to try to do so in the next uh, 60 to 90 days. Uh, we know that the phenomenon of the, our little boom that happens every spring happens, kind of starts in uh, early February. I always kind of joke around and say it's right after the Super Bowl, uh, but pretty much every year for the last four years, right after the Super Bowl, the market starts going crazy. Um, we start getting multiple offers. Uh, when that demand really shoots up, guess what? You know, the supply is down, demand is high, and prices uh, skyrocket. So, um, so we're telling everyone, try to get something under contract here in the next you know, 30, 60, 90 days. Um, it will, you will put that equity and that um, appreciation into your pocket versus waiting and having that appreciation going into the seller's pocket. So uh, very important. Uh, the other thing is if you're thinking about, if you have a home to sell and you want to be uh, thinking about buying something here in the spring, well, guess what? Now you're a contingent uh, um, buyer and you, it's contingent upon your home selling and that makes it very difficult when there's multiple offers uh, sellers typically go with a non-contingent offer versus a contingent offer so again you know it is important uh, to be able to, to you know get into that market consider putting your home in the market right away and, and therefore um, sellers other sellers are uh, more likely to take a contingent offer you know this time of year so uh, just a little tidbits here from uh, from Kittle Real Estate. Wanted to give you the information as it comes across our desk and wanted to share it with you as soon as possible. So looking forward to working with you. All right. Thanks so much.